Baltimore Ravens have gotten so many signs that they need to do this. And what is this? Make Gus Edwards the guy. So yesterday it came out that the Baltimore Ravens, they had checked in on former L.A. Ram, now Minnesota Vikings running back Cam Akers because, as we know, he fell out of favor with the Rams and they were trying to ship him off, get rid of him. They have done it, but before they did, the Baltimore Ravens had inquired about him. And, you know, Eric Dacasa, he's always checking in on different players that become available. But then they took it a step further because they brought in several different running backs uh, for tryouts. They brought in uh, Kenyon Drake, uh, Ronald Jones, and James Robinson. They brought all three of those guys in for workouts and of course they did end up going with Kenyon Drake they brought him back he was with the Baltimore Ravens last year on the active roster but this time he is signed back to the practice squad and when they first started having and showing all this interest in different running backs I'm thinking what's going on like what what changed because J.K. Dobbins he got hurt last week and it was said that last week he'll be out for the season so what's the difference now why all the interest now but we saw that Justice Hill it's like Justice Hill had like this secret injury that nobody knew about. Well, apparently the Ravens did, but we didn't know about it. I sure didn't know about it. Maybe some of y'all did, but Justice Hill has an injury, and now he's going to be, he's expected to be out this week. They say it's a long shot for him to play. Uh, so the Baltimore Ravens, they were like, hey, we got to get on it. Let's bring in Kenyon Drake. So now he's back with the squad officially. Oh, back with the practice squad too. Um, but the whole while they doing all this mess with running backs and whatnot, I'm thinking, hold up. Like, we keep getting, like, all these signs. And some of them are some tough signs, and some of them are some painful signs, but some of them are some positive signs as well that you might as well just make Gus Edwards the guy. Uh, one of those signs being that every time Gus Edwards comes in, he does nothing but produce. Let's just look at this season alone. So last week against the Houston Texans, he had eight carries for 32 yards, averaged four yards per carry. That's solid. That's solid. But then this past game against the Bengals, he had 10 carries for 62 yards and averaged 6.2 yards per carry. He had a touchdown. So it's like with Gus Edwards, he gets minimal carries. He gets limited carries. I'll say that. He gets limited carries, and it's been like that for years. He has continued to get limited carries. I know Ravens do a running back by committee type thing. But Gus Edwards has continued to show that, hey, I can play. I'm reliable. He did have that one freak injury back a couple years ago where he missed the season. But other than that, Gus Edwards has been very healthy and he has been very productive. He's always been productive since he came to the league. Like, let's look at Gus Edwards' numbers and tell me that this doesn't scream out, hey, I can start in this league. So 2018, he averaged 5.2 yards per carry. And this is not like you could have a high average off a low amount of carries, but no, it wasn't. He had 137 carries for 718 yards and he averaged 5.2 yards a carry. 2019, he had 133 carries for 711 yards, averaged 5.3 yards per carry. 2020, 144 carries for 723 yards, averaged 5 yards per carry. 2022, because he missed 2021 with injury. 2022, 87 carries for 433 yards, 5 yards per carry. And then, so far this year, he has 18 carries for 94 yards and averages 5.2 yards per carry. So, basically, throughout his career, he's averaged 5.2 yards per carry, and that includes this year. So, what Gus Edwards has continued to show, like, hey, I'm going to get you at least half the way to the first down if you keep handing me off that ball. And I am going to continue to produce. And something that we talked about before with Gus Edwards, he is like a silent assassin. Like if, if you gave me headphones and you, you, you cover my eyes and you put on audio of Gus Edwards speaking, I would not know it was him. I wouldn't know it was him. And that's not a bad thing. That's just is what it is because Gus Edwards is not this loud mouth guy. He's not this rah, rah, rah guy. Gus Edwards just comes in, does his job, doesn't say much and leaves, doesn't complain at all. Gus Edwards, in my opinion, he has so many rights to complain. He really does. Because Gus Edwards, all he got to do is bring up his numbers, bring up his stats, and point at him. And he could be like, look, like, why am I not getting more? Why am I not being provided more of an opportunity? Like, I I've shown you I can do it in these different offenses too. So what's the holdup? What's the issue? So, and some of the different signs that we've gotten, like, where Gus could be the guy, number one is his numbers, straight up. His, his numbers show, like, hey, he can come in and produce, he can get that job done. 
Another thing, unfortunately, has been the injuries. Uh, while a lot of different guys have been getting hurt, and then again, Gus did get hurt that one year, but the guy who Ravens had hoped to be the guy was J.K. Dobbins. They had hoped J.K. Dobbins was going to be the guy, and it seemed like a couple years ago they were trying to give him the keys, but then he got hurt. But then this year they were trying to give him the keys again, but he ended up getting hurt again, unfortunately. Um, so with the injuries that J.K. Dobbins ha has continued to sustain, it's like I know Ravens are looking at it, and again, it's a cold business, but Ravens are looking at it like, man, we can't rely on him. We can't count on him full time. So you have to look at other options. With Justice Hill, he's pretty much been healthy. Uh, and, and again, besides that one year where he got hurt for the season, that, that one year was just like an anomaly for a lot of those running backs. It was crazy. Um, but Justice Hill's also been healthy, but he's more of a change of pace back. Gus Edwards is more, he can be a starter. Gus Edwards can also be the closer. With Justice Hill, I feel he can play now. He can certainly play. Um, but I feel like when it comes to running in between the tackles and whatnot, Justice Hill more of the, the toss play kind of guy. Now, he does have some underrated strength now. So I ain't sleeping on Justice Hill because he got some underrated strength. We've been saying that for years. But I feel like Gus Edwards is more of that bell cow back that's going to carry you to that win like that throughout the entire game. Um, so there's that. And then Ravens have brought in different guys and whatnot. Some have worked out, some have not. But Gus Edwards has, has always been there. Well, for the past couple of years, past, what, four or five years. He's been there. And, again, he's done nothing but show up and show out. So, in my opinion, Gus Edwards, he, he they might as well make him the guy. It, it, it only makes sense. But that's to me. Now, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, along with sign, signing Kenyon Drake, because they, they signed him and he was on that field, that practice field, right away. He ain't get that ugly number 17 back because right now that's Josh Johnson's. And thank goodness, like, ooh, the 17 on the running. But again, it's like Jadavian Clowney with that number 24. It's, you hope that they ball out and they, they love their numbers. Great for them. It's ugly. Jadavian Clowney, his 24 is ugly. But, hey, he got, he got his sack. And he been getting off that line fast. So, hey, you rock that ugly number. You do what you do, baby. Do your thing and go get your bread. Uh, but with Kenyon Drake, he is number 37. It reminded me of Buck Allen. Y'all remember Buck Allen? But anyway, um, he was on the practice field right away. But, unfortunately, there were a lot of other guys that were not on the practice field for the Baltimore Ravens. And he's starting to get that, that, that long list, uh, that long injury report list like we had gotten before. Um, so, Odell Beckham Jr., did not practice. Uh, Jadavian Clowney did not practice. Devin Duvernay, he was limited. Uh, Justice Hill did not practice. Marlon Humphrey did not practice. Tyler Linderbaum did not practice. Adolphe Wade did not practice. Ronnie Stanley did not practice. Marcus Williams did not practice. So a long list of very significant players for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, with Jadavian Clowney, it said that he had an illness, so he should be good to go. Um, and with Devin Duvernay, I think he'll be fine too. Now, some concerns, Odell Beckham Jr., and I know I've, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans say, hey, with Odell Beckham Jr., don't even play him this game. Do not play him against the, the Colts. Let him rest and let him be back for Cleveland. Now, if it's me, uh, I'm hoping that Odell Beckham Jr. is good enough to go against the Colts, but with what the Baltimore Ravens have done, there's less pressure for him to play in the game. If he could be a healthy scratch, hey, no problem. That'd be great. Um, but another concern for me was uh, – Adafe away because with Adafe away again Harbaugh did say it's minor and it could still be minor um but with Adafe away he was in the walking boot after the game and I'm like ooh, okay but somebody in the comment section was like hey maybe this just just the Baltimore Ravens being extra cautious this year and I told them I, I really hope that that's exactly what it is because a lot of times this year they have been being extra cautious so that's always a good sign um something that we are a little extra weary about and it's like no you don't want to get into nobody personal life like that like that but i feel like if you have a personal life with her then it ain't really personal because everybody knows about it uh odell beckham jr and kim kardashian are apparently dating uh, and i know a lot of ravens fans feel a lot of different ways about this and it, it scared a lot of ravens fans because man they, they like oh man it, wherever kim kardashian goes uh, it don't end up the best so with Odell Beckham Jr., uh, we hope that, like, this is crazy. Like, a, a Kardashian dating somebody on a Baltimore Ravens. You see that? That star power that Odell Beckham Jr. brings. But hopefully, hopefully, 
it can just bring even more attention to the Baltimore Ravens. Positive attention, though. Uh, and, I mean, she ain't got nothing to do with the Super Bowl, but hopefully Odell Beckham Jr., he'll be focused enough to where he still continues to do his thing and continues to play like the phenomenal player that he can be. Um, but then one last thing. Oh, boy, man. These Colts. These Colts are coming in. And they, the Baltimore Ravens cannot sleep on them. They cannot sleep on them. And I know they won't. And, and Lamar Jackson talked about it like, they, hey, they take every opponent seriously as they should. Because this got like trap game written all over it. You had a, a not a blowout game, but you won decisively against the Texans a couple weeks ago. You came off an extremely emotional, tough game against the Bengals last week. And now you got the Texans. And I'm sure everybody's going to pencil in, oh, yeah, Ravens going to win. And we expect the Ravens to win. But the teams that have no expectations or low expectations those are always the most dangerous ones and you cannot get caught slipping so the baltimore ravens hey they better stay on point team keep it clean i appreciate y'all always being on point with the love that y'all show to each other in the comment section and the positivity that y'all be showing make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single update for our baltimore ravens because they always got a lot of a lot going on I love you so much. I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great night whenever you're watching this. And I appreciate you taking the time to actually watch this. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And unfortunately, like Justice Hill is probably going to be with a lot of other players this week for the Baltimore Ravens against the Colts. We out.